I've, I've got the woman here that makes men's hearts stop, and I've actually seen it happen, <laughs> Halle Berry. I watched men fall down behind you, and you seem like you don't even notice that. I don't know if you're, it seems like you're just not even aware really of your well. own beauty. What did they look like? <laughs> well, okay, you're in the Flintstones, so I have to ask you, who, is your, who were you most attracted to, Barney or Fred? <laughs> who was the biggest turn on? Come on. Fred. I like big men, see? <laughs> big men. Barney was cute, but I like big men. And, and, and he couldn't pull you by the hair because you were very strong. And I had no hair to pull. <laughs> you got your own thing going, girl. Yeah, you're right, and it's scary, but I like it though. It's working. It's called, it's it's called Bad Roots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to USA up all night. Garden, Friday night is fight night here at Hard Copy. Right, Terry? Exactly, Bear. And tonight's fight card features a heavyweight boxer and a hard copy babe. Get ready to rumble as Jerry Penicoli takes you ringside. On the eve of the big bout in Vegas, we asked comedian Rhonda Shear to head on over to the MGM Grand and find WBA heavyweight champ Bruce Seldon. Hi there, have you seen Bruce? Boxer Bruce. He wears mittens like these. Hi, this is Bruce Seldon, heavyweight champ of the world. And on September 7th, I'm going to kick Mike Tyson. And yours too, hard copy. Better hurry up, Rhonda. Ah, getting closer. Bruce, Bruce, are you in here? Are you in here? Oh. I'll be back. Right? Hi, Bruce, hey, how, are how are you? How are you? Nice to well, see you. Well, true journalism triumphs again. Go ahead, Rhonda, ask him the tough questions hard copy is famous for. Now, what would happen if they would get untied? Like, would you stop to tie them? I wouldn't, but the bow would have to stop it. Rhonda? You know, they always have these babes in the, outside the ring with, like, a lot of low-cut clothing. Do you, do, you, do you notice them? Do you just take, like, a second to, like, look at them? No, I look at all of them. When I get up in the ring, before the fight starts, when I get up in that ring and I look around, I, mm, 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 all them boosty ears. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's... Good. Yeah. Almost like what you got. <laughs> All right. Like wow, it looks as though sparks were flying there. But before Rhonda could muster up a follow-up, a Brillo-like flash caught the crew's eye. What was it? Oh, go on, Rhonda, ask him something. This is like a silly question, but I'm like one of those girls. I need hair tips from you because my hair goes down after a while. Oh, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. Spray yes. mousse. Bruce, I have a personal question to ask you. Um, the night before you get a little, you know, feeling a little spunky. Is it okay if you get romantic or... You know what I'm saying? If you have, mm, one no, more. I can't do that. You can't. Can, no, because the slightest movement is like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I have to, you know, I have to keep my, to keep my focus on the fight. But once the fight is over, <laughs> no conditioning. It's a good shampoo, wash out, and right up it goes. <laughs> what about after the fight? Fast birds? No. Fast girls? No. <laughs> Suddenly from nowhere, an impromptu display of massive muscles exclusively for hard copies cameras. No, no, no. <laughs> Can I tell you how hard he is? Hard copy is a hard body. <laughs> Stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the power. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. Cooking in the kitchen and it smells real nice. Cooking in the kitchen with Rhonda. Hi, it's Rhonda Sheer. And it's up all night cooking with Rhonda. And today we're going to do rolled cabbage. It's a Polish dish. It's really delicious. It's almost healthy. I'm not going to tell you that it's completely healthy, but it's really, really savory and delicious. 
So let's go through the ingredients and we'll get started. First, a nice, big, large head of cabbage. Core it as much as you can. You're gonna see that we need to keep the leaves intact so that we can roll them up. This is a nice, heavy one. Then we've chopped up a couple of onions with um, a whole garlic. We've chopped up about a cup and a half of white mushrooms, three tablespoons of parsley. We're gonna do this with pork, ground pork, and ground beef is gonna be the center of it. We've got a cup of rice. I'm cheating a little bit. It's cooked brown rice. That's the healthy part. One egg, salt and pepper. We're gonna use pommy strained tomatoes. They're really good. There's no, there's no preservatives. About a cup, a little over a cup. Salt, pepper, olive oil. That's it, it's pretty basic ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the stove. I'm going to set the timer on my oven to six minutes. I'm gonna drop this guy in. We don't wanna over boil it because the leaves have to stay intact so you can roll them up, but we need to get it softened. So let's drop this in. In the pot. We're gonna leave that guy in there about six minutes. We don't wanna over boil it. Okay. So we're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. Get it a pot. Then we're going to saute our onions and our garlic. You can never have too many onions or too much garlic. It's the basis of flavor for everything. So we're going to just kind of let that hang out. Gonna get it a little brown. And then we're gonna add in the mushrooms for a couple minutes. So let's let it do its thing while I start assembling some other goodies. Cabbage is boiling, the onions are sauteing. Here's a combination of pork and ground beef. It's almost two pounds, a little more than I want, but I'm gonna go for it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put in a cup of brown rice, already cooked. I'm going to put in the parsley. And I'm going to roll up my sleeves, put in the tomato sauce. Now I have to put the onions in, so I'm just kind of getting a head start now. You gotta get in there. Clean hands. It's all about the clean hands. Clean hands. Getting in it, getting in there. I like to have a lot of jewelry on because I think bling is very important when you cook. It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes everything just sparkle. Okay, we're gonna salt and pepper this, but this is just the first, just getting it in there. Oh, it smells so good. It doesn't even have the onions or the garlic in it yet. there. Still sauteing these beautiful onions. They are quite, they're yellow onions, so not quite brown enough for my liking. So we're going to let that go. And my, my cabbage was so large that I'm letting it go another three minutes boiling. So again, be very critical with the cabbage. You really have to watch it. I actually have another stand like cabbage just in case, but it's taking out, taking it out. That's very interesting. So I want you to watch that closely. I'm gonna just brown this a little bit more before I add the mushrooms. I'm telling you, there's nothing better than just good old fashioned yellow onions and garlic cooking together. Come over here and check out my cabbage. Now what's gonna happen though, is that we won't get to the inner part. You know, we're gonna, the outer leaves are gonna cook and we may have to like put it back in, but we're gonna check it out. Now taking this baby out is not easy. Out. Test a leaf here. That leaf is so good. Okay, now what's really interesting when you do this, you really have, have to have a big pan on standby because there's a lot of water going on here. I'm watching it closely because I've done this before. Watching my cabbage. Sometimes you have to do many things in the kitchen to make it come out perfect. 
don't even know what to do. Darn tasty. Again, we don't want those leaves to get too soft, but it's it, it's just you just have to watch it. Go for it. <laughs> Van, I can't get it out. Now, you know, you know how this dish is supposed to be served. Now, I've not tried it this way, but I have some uh, in the refrigerator ready to go. Is on the side some sauerkraut and sour cream. Now, I put Parmesan cheese on top and it was delicious. But I think the sauerkraut and sour cream I'm going to try when we're all done. Okay, so this is getting there. I'm just going to get it a little browner. In the meantime, join me at my cabbage. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, it's heavy! And it's hot! Kind of like me, heavy and hot. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so no kidding around. I've got my two forks. I am going to loosen the cabbage up. Just look at that leaf. Look, did you see how that leaf just came off? Now I'm leaving that water here because there's a good chance that I'm gonna have to put that cabbage back in. It's all about getting as much of that core out. The core is really hard to cut out in the very, very beginning. Pardon me, I don't wanna have burned hands. So I'm still working on that center core, which is not completely cooked, and you really need to get it out to really get those leaves going. It's like the deflowering of the cabbage. Uh-huh. We're gonna still let it cool off because you can't work with it until it's cooler. But you see? See how these leaves are just nicely falling away? Okay. You need about 10 to 16 leaves. I'll show you some more tricks too when we get into the rolling part. Okay, I'm gonna come over here because look, we've got some browning going on. Oh, maybe, maybe you gotta lower that down. Girl. Get those bits off the bottom. That's what we call a brown onion down in New Orleans. Add in the chopped white mushrooms, chopping it a little bit more. Lower my heat. Browning it again. Hang out just a couple more seconds. My husband would say, look at the stove. He cleans, he doesn't get anything on it. Yeah. I think it's a sign I'm a creative cook myself. Get it. Okay, can I let that cool? Add that to our mix in a minute. Look at my leaves, they're gorgeous over here. Um, and then the set of core I got out of the whole cabbage. I put it back in the water. I'm just going to put it back on for literally a couple minutes just to get the inside of the smaller leaves going. It'll be perfect. So let's. Um... Oh, and by the way, keep the cabbage water. I put a little salt in it, and you're going to see what I do. It's got a great taste to it. I mean, think of cabbage soup. And just because I'm a weakling, I'm bringing my mixture of the pork, the beef the parsley, the tomato sauce, over to the stove where I'm now adding the onions, the garlic, and the fabulous chopped mushrooms, which have been sauteed together. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this bowl back over here. Hi, it's Rhonda Shear, and some of you may remember me from USA oh, all night. And some of you may be watching me on HSN where I sell my own line of Rhonda Shear Intimate Apparel. Well, whatever. I would love to send messages to your family, to your friends, just anything that you're excited about. I'm happy to send that message to you. So remember, love and sizzle kisses from Rhonda. I'm ready to be booked.
Hey, welcome to RondaShear.com, the best place to shop for your intimates and loungewear. We have great sales all the time. We have a full size range. So we think that beauty comes in all shapes and all sizes. And check out our new skin tones. Find your new. Tell your friends. There's no intimates anywhere like RondaShear.com. just want you to see my gorgeous cabbage leaves. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Okay, and we have more coming. And let's go address um, what's going on in this big, beautiful bowl. So I have now added a little bit more rice, and I'm going to add the rest of the tomato sauce, which is actually not sauce. It's strained tomatoes, completely fresh strained tomatoes. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do for later. So I'm going to pour the rest of this, which is about another cup in there for later. And I'm going to put this egg, which has been beaten. I'm going to get it started with the spoon, but I hate to tell you, you got to stick your hands in it. So wash those hands really good. Now, this is when you season. This is your last shot at it. So salt. I use light salt. A little less sodium, but it's still really delicious. And um, I can never tell you exactly how much because you got to do it to taste. So a lot of pepper. I wanted to have that seasoning. You know, sometimes it's good old salt and pepper because you've got your onion and your garlic in there is just enough. A little more pepper. Till my heart says, it's good. My heart just said it's good. So I'm mixing it up really nicely. With the spoon. And the next part is the really fun part, which you guys are going to really like. And that's the rolling, which is not so easy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? We're going in. We're going deep. That's the only way to do it. That's the only way. Oh, it's nice. Getting all that parsley and rice flavor all, all of you. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. It's toss. I will wash my hands and join you back at the cabbage and um, we're going to start rolling. You can see I'm still working on the core of the cabbage, even down to the center. So I put this little, this little piece of cabbage, which was the center of the cabbage, back into the water, boiling water for about three minutes. All right. And look, these are the smaller leaves, but watch how pretty this is going to become. I've taken my forks, my two forks, and I've separated it. And look, isn't that so pretty? So I'll be really able to almost use this entire cabbage. Now, I want you to see the gorgeousness of the leaves. Because this is where the magic begins. I'm going to put them back over here. And I'm kind of, they're all pretty good. This one's a little torn, so we're going to save this for later. That has a purpose, so don't throw anything away. All your leaves have a purpose, even the ones that don't look like they do. So we're putting our best leaves as our best foot forward. Okay, you ready for some fun? Here we go. So my first beautiful cabbage leaf. Here's the trick. So this is like the little spine down the back of the cabbage. You're going to cut into that a little bit to make the rolling easier. So not all of it, just a little bit of it. Because that's hard. So here's our first leaf. Take a nice, large spoonful, put it right in the center of the cabbage leaf. Now here, you've got to watch this part closely. You take where I just cut that um, spine and you roll it, and then you're going to put the sides towards the center, and then you're just going to roll it like it's so cute, like a little flower. Then you're going to put it in a nice, deep lasagna or casserole pan. There you go. So cutting into that spine of the leaf so it's going to roll better. This is actually a trick, and I don't think many people know this without cutting my hand. Get a nice dollop of the meat mixture, the pork. I've only done this with beef, so I'm really excited to try it with the pork. Okay, so I'm rolling it away from me. I'm rolling where that core was. 
spine, taking the center in and rolling it. People think this is really hard and it's not that it's hard, it's tedious. So I don't mind tedious. So that leaf's got some tears in it. Let's do this one, how pretty that is. Oh, I love cabbage. Okay, so once again, cutting into that spine halfway. Getting a nut. I'm gonna have so much, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do as much as we can. Putting a nice dollop in. Once again, rolling it away from me. Spine first, rolling it up. And you want to put them close together. You want them to love each other. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh. Smaller the leaves, it gets a little harder. Not gonna lie. Why don't you squeeze it in? It sort of all works out. We will leave no cabbage roll out. We'll roll them all. I know. There's people out there in cabbage, Polish cabbage roll up land that not like me using the bad ones, but I'm the crazed cook. I love cooking up all night for you guys. It's so much fun. Don't worry, we're still gonna bring back the original up all night. That's, 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 we're not, we haven't forgotten. We're doing lots and lots of projects right now. So we're gonna have so much for you all to watch. We'll have cooking, we'll have Joe Bob Briggs, we'll have Gilbert Gottfried, we'll have your favorite comics, we'll have Judy Tenuta back on. Um, lots of fun things coming up. So I have about a cup left. I'm putting some of that original cabbage water into the strained tomatoes. Really good. Then I'm going to bring it back over here. A little salt. Pepper in there. Now, I'm going to pour it over this. It makes a nice, thin, beautiful sauce that they will cook in. Just soak up all those flavors. Whatever leaves you have left. Not a lot. Just putting them on top. What we have left. Kind of protect it. You can eat them too. Everything, everything's edible. There we go. Boiling it up. It'll be a beautiful thing. A little cleaning in the kitchen to do after this. We have our masterpiece, and it's going into the oven at 350. Set it for an hour 45. Check it to make sure. I'm actually going to put it on. Oh, hour 50. Okay, let's all go get a glass of wine. We'll come back and then we're going to serve up Polish rolled cabbage. And I'm going to try the sauerkraut with the, uh, the sour cream on the side. It's going to be delicious. Okay, we'll be back. Staying up all night cooking in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Ashley with Retreat St. Pete. We are a consignment and resale boutique and we have a little bit of something for everybody. Hi, I'm Matt with Retreat St. Pete. We're located in the Grand Central District at 1940 Central Avenue. We carry something for everyone from handbags to jewelry to furniture and home decor. Our goal is to have everyone be able to find something they love and take home with them that day. One of my favorite things about this business is that you just never know what's going to come in through the door and that's usually how we find some of our coolest pieces. I first started off just basically taking in items and then I started to try to find items, unique pieces and pieces that I think everyone would enjoy. And if you have anything lying around that you don't want anymore, you can always contact us through our website or you can give us a call at the store. One of my favorite pieces right now is this really cool old drafting table and it's going to make somebody really happy because you're not going to find this anywhere else. Some of our items that we get we end up working on and kind of bringing back to life, especially some of the mid-century pieces which are really popular right now. St. Pete has become a really cool place for people to walk around, shop, listen to music. I'm from St. Pete and seeing the changes that have happened in downtown St. Pete and especially Central Avenue are pretty amazing. We're very excited to be part of this area. We're a catty corner from Haslam's, uh, just southeast and directly across the street from the Imagine Museum. 
A lot of the pieces that you see in store, you can find on our website and we add items weekly. You can find almost all of our pieces on RetreatStPete.com, as well as some of the larger pieces that won't make it downtown, but you can feel free to schedule an appointment either through the website, come in store to schedule your appointment to go to the warehouse, or give us a call at 727-914-0303. All right, it's out. Whoa. Let's take a stick. Gotta go for the big ones. Pretty, right? We're going to take a little bit of the sour cream. Got some light because it matters now. <laughs> and we're going to just put some on the side of the plate. And then we have our sauerkraut. So there you go. Now we're going to test it with Jean and see how he likes it and Marie and Van. Mmm, yum. Come on, almost healthy. But you have to hang around so we can open and see what's inside. There I go, I'm cutting into it. That's fantastic. Cooking in the kitchen and the smells real nice. Cooking in the kitchen with Rhonda. Stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the power. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. It's Rhonda Shear, and some of you may remember me from USA oh, all night. And some of you may be watching me on HSN, where I sell my own line of Rhonda Shear intimate apparel. Well, whatever. I would love to send messages to your family, to your friends, just anything that you're excited about. I'm happy to send that message to you. So remember, love and sizzle kisses from Rhonda. I'm ready to be booked. It's great to be in shape from your ankles to your calves, knees, thighs, hips, tummy, arms, shoulders. From the tip of your toes to the top of your head, Shape Spa has the proper equipment and program to help you become a healthier, happier, more beautiful you. We'll help slim you into that swimsuit or dress you've been wanting to wear. Let us prove it. Come see us. You'll learn it's really great to be in shape. Hey, welcome to RhondaShear.com, the best place to shop for your intimates and loungewear. We have great sales all the time. We have a full size range. So we think that beauty comes in all shapes and all sizes. And check out our new skin tones. Find your new. Tell your friends. There's no intimates anywhere like RhondaShear.com. Hi, it's Rhonda with two great movies and a bunch of yard sale junk for some lucky winners. Next on USA, up all night. Mm. Rhonda, and what a show we have for you tonight. 
You see, I had this yard sale a few weeks ago, and I decided to part with some of my valued belongings because I knew they'd be in good hands with my fans. I got all kinds of cards and letters requesting my treasures. And tonight, I'll let you know who won what. We also have two terrific, and I mean terrific, movies. Later on, we'll scare all of our viewers who are working the graveyard shift by showing graveyard shift. But first, we'll watch the spine-tingling thriller, Dangerous Pursuit. It was made by your favorite network, USA, and it's filled with recognizable TV celebrities that will keep you on the edge of your seats. So sit back, relax, and get undressed. Well, that's optional. Here's Dangerous Pursuit on USA up all night. It's your good time, girly girl, and we've been watching Dangerous Pursuit. Looks like our two New York City girls have had solicited sex with one too many political assassins, and they're splitting town. Well, you know what it's time for, the first giveaway of the Rhonda yard sale. It's the panty tray. Remember the red panties, the floral panties, and the tray from one of my favorite hotels. And the lucky winner is... John King from Nashville, Tennessee, who writes, Dear Rhonda, when you had your yard sale and showed the panties in the tray, I knew that's what I wanted to get from the yard sale. So I wished and I prayed that I could get the panties. So I begged that I get the panties and the tray because I have watched it for so long and I think that you're the best looking woman in the world. And if I did get the panties and the tray, I would be the luckiest person in the world. So I hope that I get the panties and the tray. And I think that you're perfect. Love, John. You know, repeated that so many times that, well, I'm so happy that it's for you because you deserve the panties and the tray, the panties and the tray, the panties and the tray. John King from Nashville. We'll be right back with more USA Up All Night after these commercial messages. You can clean this tray with just a little Windex. been watching a USA Network original film called Dangerous Pursuit about a cop's wife trying to escape her spotted past. I almost married a cop once, but I think he wanted to have a large family right away. That's what cops do. They have large families. Oh, I guess I was right. Let's get right back to our USA movie Dangerous Pursuit as USA Up All Night rolls on. Yeah. Well, it's time for our next big winner from the Rhonda Yard Sale. Now, I want you all to know that these were randomly selected, and we've got thousands and thousands of letters, and I thank you so much for writing. Okay, here we go. This is the Raisin Rhonda T-shirt. Da, 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 da. And it goes to Jacqueline Getty all the way from San Juan Capistrano, California. Dear Rhonda, if I get the shirt, please send it in a box in the UPS. If you don't, then go on and put it in the mail. And then she gives her address. Your friend, Jacqueline Getty. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the raisin and the shirt. Um, I suggest using them both at the same time. We're watching Dangerous Pursuit, which is twice as fun as playing Trivial Pursuit in a three-piece suit. So you're certainly in the right place. USA Up All Night will be right back after these messages. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. It's your yard sale, yum yum. And we're watching the plot of Dangerous Pursuit get deeper and deeper. It's a lot like our national debt. But hey, enough of the politics. USA Up All Night rocks on just for you. Ah, that's nice. A husband and wife sharing a loving birthday celebration. Candlelight, nice china, soft music, the works. Now might be a good time to tell him that she slept with a psychopath for $100. Stay tuned and we'll find out how the date finishes. But next up, we have a Rhonda item from the yard sale that someone won. Yes, the lucky pair of Rhonda shoes and fringe things that go with the shoes. Very exciting. And the winner is Our Soul. How appropriate for shoes. From Woodland Hills, California. All right, here's the letter. Randomly selected from many, many people who wanted Rhonda shoes. Dear Rhonda, love your show and your act. Would love to walk around in your pumps anytime. 
I've been out of work for some time now, so I don't have much to offer. So here's my lucky penny I found when I was a young tot. I know it's not much for a pair of shoes, but they are your shoes. Hope I get them. Sincerely, our soul. Well, Rhonda could never keep your lucky penny, so I'm going to return the lucky penny, although I thank you so much for the thought, with the shoes. The only thing is, our soul wants to walk around in my shoes. I hope that's Roberta and not Robert. Hmm. We'll be back with more USA Up All Night right after these messages. Yeah, enjoy. USA Up All Night now returns to Dangerous Pursuit, a suspense-filled movie that will keep you scratching your head in puzzlement. A little like when you heard that Julia Roberts married Lyle Lovett. The yard sale yucks just roll on. And it's time for another yard sale winner. These were randomly selected from thousands of cards and letters. This is so exciting. Here we go. Here's Billy's hat and sponge. Remember how exciting and someone actually wanted it. Yes, and someone actually won it. W.C. Pope, all the way from Herkimer, New York. Dear Rhonda, I want your or Billy's hat and sponge. Love W.C. Pope, the Pope, one of the sponge and the hat. You're getting it. Enjoy. USA Up All Night will be right back after these messages. Unless, of course, an event of global significance occurs in which my show may be briefly interrupted by some stone-faced newsman with bad hair to inform you. But then again, what are the odds of Liz Taylor getting another divorce? So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Love this hat. You know, our next yard sale winner presented us with a huge conundrum. It says this is from the Billy Reback pile. A huge pile, but people wanted Billy's hats and, and his sponge and clothing. Well, this winner wanted Billy's hat and Rhonda's shoes. Well, we have the Billy clothing, which is Billy's shoes, not Rhonda's shoes. A fabulous t-shirt that says, Good bears eat their honey. And of course, the Billy Jean. Very exciting. All right, they're all yours. Mabel Redman from Glendora, Mississippi. Thank you. You're going to really enjoy these shoes. You can stuff them if they don't fit. Rhonda, my sisters and I enjoy your show. We want to see more movies that you do. I asked for Billy's hat and your pretty shoes. They're the perfect fit for me. Size seven. Mabel Redman. Congratulations. You know, Dangerous Pursuit is really a different movie for us. It's got some good actors. The plot is interesting. And it doesn't have any teenage girls from outer space wearing bikinis in it. But then, who's to say which is really better? You just can't compare apples with oranges. <laughs> you can't compare cooking with alcoholism. Yeah, I think you're starting to get my point. Now, let's get back to the movie. Congratulations, Mabel. It's your bedtime buddy, and we're paying off our yard sale show on USA Up All Night. <laughs> Who could that be? Ooh, let's find out. <gasps> it's David Cohn. Hi, David Cohn. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Come okay. over here. Now, David is very cool because he won a walk-on on USA Up All Night. Well, you know what happens to our walk-ons, don't you? Yeah, well, do. David... Assume okay. the walk-on position. There he is. This is so exciting. I'm now I going to wait. walk on little David Cohn. Woo! Whoa. What was that? Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Is it good for you? It's great. Wow. Okay. Your yard sailing sweetie will return with more USA up all night and dangerous pursuit after these words. Well, it's time for you to go now, well, David. thank you very much. You're welcome. You were the best walk-on I've ever had. Okay. Don't let that door hit you all in right, the tush. Yeah. We'll be back. The yard sale junks on just rolls on with your goddess of late night. Now we have five lucky winners. Yes. 
five of Craig Trakiso's CD, Acoustic Highway. This is so exciting. Okay, the first one is Aretha Gardner from Huntington, West Virginia. Congratulations. Enjoy. Matt Moore from Odessa, Texas. Vivian Havader from Florence, Alabama. Jay Mallow from Warwick, Rhode Island. And Earl Hamrick from Concord, California. Thank you guys for writing. You're really going to love the CD. Now, in an effort to further regulate television, the FCC has recently proposed making all networks proceed programs that contain violence with a warning. As a member of the television community, I'd personally like to... Oops, one moment. <laughs> I assure you that USA Up All Night aims to comply as best we can. Now, back to Dangerous Pursuit. Well, it's time for another winner. And this was a big favorite. Rhonda's trays and bras. Yes, two bras, two bras, two bras, and two trays. You get what you asked for. And the winner is Chris Lawson from Madison, North Carolina. And Chris writes, Dear Rhonda, I would like more than anything to win the Rhonda's trays and bras. Although I'm ashamed to admit it as I do smoke, I wouldn't use the ashtrays simply because they were owned and used for soap by the lovely Miss Rhonda. Keep up the excellent work, Rhonda. Love always your fan, Chris Lawson. Well, thank you, Chris. Um, I hope you enjoy the bras. Hang them on the wall. They look terrific there. Anyway, more action, more suspense, more of your late night delight when USA Up All Night returns after these messages. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA Up All Night, P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Hi, it's Rhonda Shear, and some of you may remember me from USA oh, all night, and some of you may be watching me on HSN, where I sell my own line of Rhonda Shear intimate apparel. Well, whatever. I would love to send messages to your family, to your friends, just anything that you're excited about. I'm happy to send that message to you. So remember, love and sizzle kisses from Rhonda. I'm ready to be booked. Okay, Fred, let's play Name That Deal. You can buy this new Mitsubishi Mighty Max at what special finance rate? Uh, 9.9? Right, you are. (laughs) Now, you can lease this new Mighty Max for how much a month? $99. You got it! And finally, the Mighty Max has how many great new features? Nine! Congratulations, Fred! Now's the time to name your deal at your participating Mitsubishi Motors dealer. Is this movie getting crazy or what? Let's recap. Marie knows she's being pursued, but how can she tell her husband? Just a second, please. Let's tune back into the action as Dangerous Pursuit continues on USA Up all night. Well, what do you know? It seems Rhonda's gotten some fan mail. This letter reads, Dear Rhonda, my 14-year-old son stays up late to watch USA up all night every Friday night. I let him do this primarily because of your violence warnings. However, he insists on it, and I fear he might pass out or something. Signed, Concerned Parent. Well, dear Concerned Parent, your son sounds like a freak. I'd like to take this time to encourage all my viewers to relax and breathe easy during these messages. And I'll be right back with more of Dangerous Pursuit. It's time to announce another yard sale winner, and this is a great one. The hat and the Rhonda softball. Ooh, cool. You can play softball and wear the hat. And the winner is... 
George Tamberlin from Worth, Illinois. Way cool. Congratulations. Let me read what George has to say. Thanks for taking time to get this stationary, George. Really? There you go. Dear Rhonda, I hope I win the cap and softball so I have something to remember you with. Every Friday night, I watch USA up all night, and then I can't wait to go to sleep so I can dream about you. Love and kisses, George Tamberlin. Well, thanks, George, and congratulations. The ball will be coming right to you. We will return to Dangerous Pursuit when you feel you are able to watch it responsibly. For now, these commercial messages on USA up all night. And now, the conclusion of Dangerous Pursuit on USA Up All Night. Well, Dangerous Pursuit is over, and I think we're better people for having watched it. Now it's time for a super scary special feature called Graveyard Shift. Ooh, it's about the sky. And the women who love him. That's right, women love him. Watch and see as USA Up All Night presents Graveyard Shift. Well, here we go. It's time to pay off Rhonda's yard sale. And this is a good one. Two pantyhose and one pink sock. Let's see who our winner is. It's Randy Mays from Warren, Michigan. Wow, and it's even tight and everything. This is so cool. Dear Midnight Muffin, Voluptuous Dixon, and Righteous Rhonda, will you marry me? If not, then will you please let me down easy by agreeing to send me one pink sock and black and white stockings you advertise on your one-of-a-kind yard sale. I consider that my weekend hasn't really begun until I hear my naughty nymph say, welcome to USA Up All Night. You really project someone having fun with a role, and I hope you continue to host USA Up All Night for years to come. Your biggest fan, Randy Mays. Thank you, Randy. That's so sweet. Um, I, I hope you enjoy them. I'm not quite sure what you'll do with them, but enjoy. Stay put, folks, because your girly girl is just getting warmed up. We've got more vampire fun in Graveyard Shift coming up right after these messages. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Time for another big yard sale giveaway. Yes, we randomly selected all you winners from a big, big vat of letters. And the next prize is a water cooler and a bustier. Yes, the Rhonda black and white striped bustier. Very nice. And the winner is Michelle Suhar from Shreveport, Louisiana, my home state. Congratulations, Michelle. I'm from Louisiana, just like Rhonda. I love her and her show. I would love to have the bustier and water cooler from her yard sale. Please send it to me because I think my 38C will (laughs) Thanks, Michelle. Come and visit the show anytime you'd like. (laughs) This week in Los Angeles, Madonna continued auditioning dancers for her next tour. Today, reports say that another leading candidate, Kimberly Daisy, had shown here... Did not make the cut due to her conservative style of dance. Let's return to Graveyard Shift on USA Up all night. Yes, we're yard selling and we're having the best time just giving away all of Rhonda's favorite things. And the next thing are Rhonda shades and, of course, the disguise. And the winner is Betsy Holt, Florence, Alabama. Oh, my goodness. Let's read this. Dear Rhonda, hello, my name is Betsy Holt. I love to watch you on USA Up all night. I really love your taste in clothing. You're very pretty and you're a cool host, too. I'll take any of your clothing that you'll give. Anything to be just like you. You're the best, Betsy Holt. My boyfriend adores you, too. That's really sweet, Betsy. Thank you so much. Well, we're 
are coming down the home stretch in the Rhonda Yard Sale Show, and what a good time we've had tonight. The next items, remember these, the pearls and the barrette to do anything that you want with, goes to, yes, Quinn Hazelbacker from Danville, Illinois. And the card reads, pearls and barrettes. Enjoy them. They'll be coming right to your house. Next, your voluptuous vampire will return after these commercials. Okay, so I'm not a vampire. Now time toward the last item of the night. Thank you. The big deal of the night. I love that. I can make this. The squirt gun. Two hats. And I love, I love you pillow. Two CDs that I've never heard before. A towel I have used before. And four Rhonda color photos. And the winner is. <laughs> um, I guess Rhonda won because no one absolutely won. Oh, wait a minute. It's flying in now. Flying, flying in. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> what a kooky little crew I have. The winner is Amanda Ashy from Tucson, Arizona. Rhonda, I would like your big deal of the night. I'm 13 and I watch your show up all night, every Friday night. I love your wild and crazy outfits. And when I, I would love to have your big surprise of the night. Please just keep being your wild and crazy self and keep doing up all night because I would be disappointed if you ever quit the show, which you wouldn't because everyone loves your show. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Love always, Amanda Ashley. <laughs> now back to Graveyard Shift on USA. Up all night. hear from a guy who must have daydreamed all through anatomy class at school. Did you see those marks on her chest? For your information, they're called... Ne Never mind. He'd probably be better off learning about that all on his own. Here's more Graveyard Shift as USA Up All Night continues. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. And now, for the evil and wicked conclusion of the horrifying film, Graveyard Shift. Am I scaring you? Oh boy, was that a scary movie. I'm actually relieved that Graveyard Shift is over. Oh wait, our next movie is The Understudy, Graveyard Shift 2. <gasps> you can be sure I'll keep my nightlight on. I've got to go now, but I want to thank you for joining us this Friday night. I'll meet you here next week at the same time when we'll do something completely different all over again. And remember, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda up all night. Nighty-night. <laughs>
Hi, it's Rhonda Shear. And some of you may remember me from USA oh, all night. And some of you may be watching me on HSN where I sell my own line of Rhonda Shear intimate apparel. Well, whatever. I would love to send messages to your family, to your friends, just anything that you're excited about. I'm happy to send that message to you. So remember, love and sizzle kisses from Rhonda. I'm ready to be booked. Hey, welcome to RhondaShear.com, the best place to shop for your intimates and loungewear. We have great sales all the time. We have a full size range. So we think that beauty comes in all shapes and all sizes. And check out our new skin tones. Find your nude. Tell your friends, there's no intimates anywhere like RhondaShear.com. Stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the power. It's the Rhonda Shear Social Lab. It's